In today's episode, I'm quickly going to show you how to use auto clicker on Android. Now for this video, I've downloaded an application which is called auto clicker. Let me show you what it looks like on Play Store. You simply search for auto clicker and it should pop up. It is showing up on the second option for mine. You can tap on it which says auto clicker or automatic tap. You can tap open this application and install for your device. After the application has been installed, now you can open up the app and you'll need to allow a few settings before you use it. Now basically there are two options, the single target mode or the multi target mode. So single targets only allows you to auto click on in one specific place and multiple targets allows you in different places. The way that you work is pretty much the same. So for this video, I'm going to show you the single target mode. Tap on enable and this target appears. Now simply take the target where you want to auto click and then tap on the settings to manage it. Now on the top, you can see the interval that the tap happens. You can choose the seconds, milliseconds or minutes and adjust your time like so. And you'll also have an option of run indefinitely, amount of time and number of cycles. So if you choose on run indefinitely, it will tap continuously uh, until you end it. If you select the amount of time, let's say if you select a minute, it will tap for a minute. And if you tap on number of cycles, it will tap for the cycles that you enter. For example, 10. After you choose your preferred option and the interval, now you can tap on save. And then again, make sure that the target is adjusted to the point that you want to add. And then simply tap on this play option right here. Now, as soon as you do that, the auto clicker will start to click on your device. Now you can easily play and pause it from this button right here. So that's the exact way that you can use an auto clicker. You can do the same process for multiple targets also. You'll basically have multiple targets and you can set it at, to any point on your screen. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to subscribe, share and give this video a thumbs up. That's going to be all for today and I'll see you in the next one.